Agora TV. The world is thinking. Um, besides appearance, uh, what truly makes faces expressive is the motion of the facial microstructure. And um, it is very difficult to capture this motion. And the slightest um, non-realism or the slightest deviation from the real motion immediately creates what's called the uncanny valley effect. Sort of you, are, you become unfamiliar with the face. The face doesn't look quite real and it looks really weird and odd. And uh, this makes the face facial modeling so difficult. Uh, what we are doing, for instance, is we decompose the face and facial motion into a global motion and into the motion of expressive details, such as the wrinkles. And in order to do this, you have to separate the facial microstructure, the wrinkles, from this global facial model. And then once um, you have these separate mathematical representations, you can basically take this uh, this face structure and put the details, the geometric details, back on using some mathematical tricks to smooth it out. And in order to capture these details, um, you have to, and this was a homemade uh, experiment, you have to capture the global facial motions, this is happening with the blue dots, plus the wrinkles explicitly, and these wrinkles are being extracted from these painted stripes onto the face, for instance. And if you do so, um, you can reanimate the face on the left hand side you see the global motion of this base face shape on the right hand side you see the th same thing with the wrinkles resynthesized on top of it and i hope you can clearly see the difference and clearly see how the face becomes more expressive by that <laughs>